Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is about using grid lines. Sometimes they're called document lines. And I just made a video earlier on Corel X8 and above. They made it a lot easier to turn them on and off. But in X7 you can, and below, you can do it in other ways. But I'm going to go over this, and this is uh, pretty cool because you can use grid lines. And also they made the... Uh, option button right there so you could change your grid right now i've got them set on 0.25 of an inch so let's set them on one inch now i've got a grid line every inch of my 40 inch by 28 bed i'm going to go back to 0.25 and that would make it four inches just so you can see it in the video and one reason you'd want to use it take your two hand two point line and I didn't grab my two-point line. And you can make, uh, it'll actually snap to the grid. And also in Corel X8, they made it a little better for turning snap to on. Well, I think it started in like seven. You've got snap to, snap to and you know, over in other versions, it's over in view. But snap to grid now and then what's so nice about it you can readily turn them on and off real easily and you can also go to options and there's a lot of variations you can you can snap to the grid right there and actually you can have dots and it probably won't show up on the video but there's little bitty dots everywhere for the grid yep it just doesn't show up there it shows up better there Anyway, that's using grid lines. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.